So in this video, we're going to be installing Casper.js. So the first thing that you want to do is navigate over to the Casper.js docs to the installation area. So right here, you should see the table of contents, installation, and installing guidelines depending upon your system. So Casper depends on Phantom. So you can think of Casper as kind of like jQuery, where it's built on top of JavaScript and it provides us methods to make things easier. So Casper is built on top of Phantom. The one problem that we have is the latest version of Casper is version 1.1 and it actually only works with Phantom 1.9.1. So once we so we're still going to install the latest version of Casper, but we just need to make some changes to the bootstrap JS file. And we can install Casper using npm so if I scroll down here a bit we'll have commands that we can use if you're on OS X and below that for Windows users you can see npm install dash G Casper JS this will have the same effect as Phantom and it will allow us to use a command line interface which allows us to load up our files using Casper JS and then the name of our JavaScript file. So this is important as well. You want to take note of where Casper.js will be installed because if you're on Windows then we'll need to add this to the path of our environment variables like we did with PhantomJS. So I'm just going to kill this right now because it's already installed for me. Again for me it was installed in users, Pshro, npm, and then node modules and Casper.js and bin. So you want to add this location to your path variables. So once that's done, we'll also need to edit this bootstrap.js file in order to make it compatible with the Phantom version 2.1. And this is pretty necessary when we're running certain methods within Casper. So there's basically only two changes that I made. So the first change that you want to make is on line 108 to 118. So from here to here, we'll comment this out. Okay, so actually I'm going to add some code right here to line 56. And this is just some code that I found on Stack Overflow in order to make this latest version of Casper compatible with PhantomJS. So after that's saved, then it should work. So let's test this out. So let's go to the quick start. And I'll just copy this into a new file. create a new file called test load this up and I'm going to take the location of the file and put it into my terminal so in order to start any kind of a Casper task we preface it with Casper.js and, the, and then the name of the file Okay, and we got a couple printouts, and this is what we were expecting. So we can take a look at the, the file again, and we'll go into this in more detail. But we're basically getting the title, and then we're setting echo, which is the same thing as uh, console log. And after we do that, then we're opening up another URL and getting the title of this URL as well. So we should get the title for Casper and then the title for Phantom and that's what we get in our log so of course I'll include this bootstrap.js file in your files as well so you can just copy it over and again if you have any trouble you can always go to this installation guide and just click on whatever system that you're working on